My lawn is invaded with jumping worms. This is what I'm doing to get rid of them. And see that white band? That means it's a jumping worm. There it is. It's a jumping worm. Sorry, Buster. You are my garden. Jesus, look at the size of that thing. Now here's a likely spot. You can see the crumbly stuff. And those are made by the what the jumping worm excretes. There are some crumbs. This is what the crumbs look like. Now I'm gonna dig. Let's see. Any jump out. There's one. It doesn't know I've seen it yet. But you watch when I grab it. What it does. See, it really goes bonkers. I'm hoping that they lay their eggs where I find them because I'm going to be pouring. There's a little one. I'm going to be pouring. I just pulled one out out of there and I knew there had to be another one. Anyway, I'm hoping that they lay their eggs right where I find them. And so if they do, then I'll kill a lot of the eggs with the bleach when I pour it on. There's some, got to be some there, because look at all those crumbs. There it is. Came out over here. There it is. See the bugger? That big one. Well, if it goes into the soup, that will produce a lot of eggs. You think you're going to crawl out, but you're going to be dead very soon. That bleach and vinegar is going to get you. They can climb. They've been found like two and three stories up. Hey, there's one right there. There's one. I must have been asleep. They're not moving much. There should be another one. There's almost always two. Yep, see, there's another one right there. Two little buggers. And they're not having sex because they don't need a partner to reproduce. Buggers live under the stones, too. They're stupid and they're smart at the same yeah. time. Pour vinegar under the stones. Yeah, it's a lot of work. But I want to have a garden. I mean, I want to have a decent clover garden here. Look at it. There used to be a lot of clover here. All of it's gone. Clover has shallow roots. And I think that's the first thing the jumping worms eat because they go after shallow roots. I don't seem to find any worms where there's a lot of ant activity. So I don't know if it's ants and the jumping worms are incompatible. This is my stone circle. It used to be beautiful because it had a lot of clover. Then I, something killed the clover. Then I discovered the last couple of days that it was jumping worms. So I'm trying to get rid of all the jumping worms. I've picked a lot of them out using this tool, which really works well and I recommend it. It's a nice big tong. It's big. And it pulls up the grass and then I can grab the worm with the tongs. I don't have to touch the worms. There they are, those suckers. And these are just some. 